So, Jeff, you shared your Christmas tree with us, and apparently people are sharing it with, with yes. you as well. It, they are. You know, I asked for uh, anyone who also put up their Christmas tree early, and uh, I did get uh, quite a few uh, responses. So I'm going to be trying to share those over the next couple of weeks. Uh, and, you know, the weather over the next uh, couple of days also going to be getting colder. So that'll help it to make it feel like the holidays, even though we have all of this uh, COVID restrictions and everything else in place. So let's go ahead and check my viewer mail tonight. And this one came in from Lizzie Chickering in Danville. She reached out to me on my Instagram. And all she wanted to say was a simple thank you. Thank you for posting these pictures and sharing them. And you are welcome. Look at her beautiful tree there. It must have taken hours to decorate. She's got that white garland on there, even some garland up around her windows. That is magnificent. Uh, Lizzie sent in several more pictures, so we might be seeing uh, more of her living room also in the weeks ahead. If you want to get a hold of me, uh, check it out. Jeff Bernieri on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And I'll try to share these pictures as I get them. I'll have more coming up at 6 p.m. Tonight. So that storm system that's going to help to drop temperatures and make it feel colder that begins to arrive as we move through tomorrow. Only a spotty chance here of some drizzle. It's mainly some dropping temperatures for the mornings over the next couple of days. And you can see the drizzle and a few isolated showers offshore by two o'clock in the morning right there near Guerneville. But uh, again, most of it out here in the Pacific. Then as we roll through tomorrow morning, I will see a lot of that fade with only a lingering chance of a spotty drizzle right there at the immediate coastline. So I think overall, as we move into the afternoon, we'll get that sunshine back. But notice if you're headed up to Tahoe, be ready for some winter conditions. We'll get a dusting of snow up there, uh, so the roadways definitely could be slick for you. So tomorrow morning, as we start off, we'll begin mostly clear and temperatures in the 40s. So uh, jacket weather here with 42 in the South Bay, Tri Valley at 41. Definitely sweater weather and some layers needed in the North Bay at 42, San Francisco 48, and the East Bay at 44. Temperatures tomorrow cool off about two to four degrees. But overall, I think it's going to be beautiful right down here into San Jose, 61 degrees, a little bit breezy winds out of the northwest at 14 through the East Bay temperature of 63 in Vallejo, 61 in Pleasanton, and we'll see more of those low 60s through San Mateo, Redwood City and Palo Alto, and it drops off to the 50s as you get near the coastline in Daly City. More of those 50s through the marina and the outer sunset and the North Bay up to 62 in Santa Rosa. Dry tomorrow, dry through Thanksgiving. Notice the storm track will be way off to the north. So no storms for us on Thanksgiving. In fact, right now it looks dry as we head through the next seven days. Morning lows in the 40s for San Francisco. Afternoon highs in the 60s through next Monday. And my forecast for the inland valleys, the big headline here is by Thanksgiving morning down to 36 for the average inland. And we'll keep with those cold 30s for the mornings right into uh, this upcoming weekend. So lots of photos. I'm not feeling alone by putting my tree up <laughs> early this year. I knew I wouldn't be the only one, but it, it's it's really cool to see all those pictures coming in. Yes, because this is some inspiration. That other tree was beautiful. I mean, I really got to step it up. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, I know.